Well, more than 20,000 people here in Tennessee have visited emergency rooms, all for opioid overdoses. To put that in some kind of perspective, that's enough to fill the Bridgestone Arena. Now, a Nashville hospital is getting a new tool to help people fighting addiction. News 2's Mai Owens explains how this program works. Inside emergency rooms, doctors are faced with patients around the clock, many of them battling life or death situations. But now a life saving service is expanding. It's providing physicians and nurses some sense of hope when serving this population. Jessica Youngbloom with the Tennessee Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services says it's a program meant to solve a problem by going directly to the people who often are the first step to recovery partner with the hospitals to provide them funding so that they can really build in the education and the comfortability with being able to treat individuals with substance use disorder and specifically opioid use disorder in the emergency department before releasing them back out into the community. It's called the Medication Assisted Treatment Emergency Department Induction Project. This is how the program works. Emergency room patients will get their first dose of buprenorphine at no cost to them. Then the patient is referred to resources in their area to continue their recovery. The beginning of hope. Those who are struggling with substance use disorder, they are in a place of darkness. And a lot of times they are met with stigma and judgment. And by being able to provide them this level of service just really gives them that sense of hope that they have the ability to beat this disease. Buprenorphine approved by the FDA to treat opioid use disorder. From January 1st through September of last year, 520 people died from drug overdoses in Davidson County. Now the program is expanding to Metro Nashville General Hospital, plus two others in the state. We know the data points and we're highly aware of them. And so we're always looking at where can we be reaching people that we're not reaching. As part of the program, emergency departments will be able to give naloxone to patients when they leave. During the first stage of the program, 533 patients left with the overdose reversing drug in hand. And we reached out to the National General Hospital. They say limited availability treatment services remains to be a significant hurdle, making this program vital and laying the foundation for a more robust support system.